How's it going everyone? As you can tell from the title of today's video, I have bought another Saab. I've actually bought the, it is technically the cheapest Saab 9.5. I'm gonna hop on that bandwagon that a lot of automotive YouTubers like to do, but the cheapest Saab 9.5 in the United States. I actually had a subscriber reach out to me uh, a few weeks ago saying that he, he had bought a new car, he has his 9.5 and uh, it has some problems. This car is non-running. Uh, and you'll see here in a minute, it's it needs some love for sure. Um, but pretty much the car hadn't been in his possession as of late and it was time to move on. So he decided to give it to me. So I am uh, $0 into the car itself. I paid about $1,000 to have it shipped here uh, from California. So right off the bat, uh, that's just how much money I have into this right now. It is going to need a lot of work, but without further ado, here it is. This is a 2006 Saab 9.5. Some of you might recognize this color. It is one of my favorite Saab colors and I actually didn't even know that they made this car or I should say the 9.5 in this color. This is Arbor Green. It only came on 2006 9.5s and there were only 60 of them. I'll put the production numbers on the screen right here. There were only ever 60 of them built. 17 of these 60 were five doors like this, non-arrows. You can see this is just a 2.3T. I know a lot of you Saab guys that watch this channel and don't have a new generation Saab 9.3 always wanna see content on the Saabs that you have. So that's why I've kind of been working with Lucas a lot on saving Saabs. He's got his parts car right there and his hatch is currently missing, but uh, it would be right there. So we got some OG 9.3 content. And now we'll have a plenty, plenty of 9.5 content as well. Let me give you all a quick rundown on this car itself. It just got delivered yesterday. Um, I just am seeing it for the first time right now. I've only been here for about 10 minutes and I can see a lot of the things, a lot of the love that it's going to need. It currently has some snow tires on it, which we don't need here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, but they're pretty much bald anyway. So the owner was very, very generous and he included some nice Michelin Pilot Sport AS3s. Uh, on the car, or not on the car, in the back, uh, so I can mount these for the summer. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you all a quick rundown on the car itself. In the next video, I'm going to be working on it and hopefully have it running, but we'll see how that goes. So right now, uh, the car has been sitting for a while, and I guess you'll see the interior is uh, quite a mess. There are a variety of parts, but you can see it very much needs a really, really deep cleaning. It's very sticky, gross. It needs a new Jalousi. The uh, the winter mode button is just MIA. The e-brake handle is pretty gross, but the seats themselves honestly aren't that bad. And I love the cream interior with this Arbor Green. It's a very nice uh, specced car. But if I hop in here, the car just has absolutely nothing, nothing. I'm not getting any lights, anything. It is a, uh, very, very dead. So uh, first thing we'll probably try and do is jump start it in, in the next video. It's got some oil leaks too. I guess I'll show you guys under the hood. So right off the bat, uh, Lucas said he smelled coolant. So their coolant might be leaking. Uh, we haven't looked at it too much yet. You can see it's definitely leaking out of the valve cover here. That's an easy fix though. Uh, I also noticed this charge pipe is just off, sitting right down here. This crankcase hose is a uh, broken so we have a new one of those previous owner was very generous and actually bought me a new one uh, and sent it with the car so that will pr probably be something we replace too because you know that's uh not how that's supposed to be this vacuum line is broken as i'm getting oil everywhere too on my fingers this car is quite literally the definition of a project so i'm sure there's a lot more small issues here and there that we're going to find as we start to work on it in these next couple of videos but cosmetically it's not too bad uh, you can see it looks like it's got some clear coats starting to go on the roof uh, the back part of the antenna is missing the hood struts don't work so we've got a piece of wood holding it up but i think for now the car really just needs once it's running a super good detail and just deep deep like entire afternoon worth of cleaning but the bumper here is uh i kind of pushed it back in but it's sagging off a little bit you can see the chrome on this chrome trim is kind of coming off uh it was in some sort of uh i don't know if that's through the paint or not it might not be actually maybe that'll come out i can't tell 
but it's clearly uh, seen some better days. The dash has like this weird, like that looks like it's from heat almost. So that's a little bit strange. Yeah, I guess last thing I wanna talk about in this video are my plans for this specific car. So I've talked about for a while uh, that I can't buy another Saab because uh, I only have room for two cars at my house. So I have the Turbo X and the 2.0, but this offer came up and I just couldn't refuse it. So <laughs> what I'm going to be doing, so noticing that both of these are broken off, the other side was uh, broken too, is probably just the tabs on there. Pretty much what I'll be doing is uh, putting one of my cars in storage so that way I can fix this thing up and give it some love and hopefully restore it to some of its former glory. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy and like straight pipe it and throw a big turbo on it and do anything crazy like that. I'm probably just gonna leave it completely stock. Uh, this is obviously well after all of this myriad of issues is fixed. Um, probably just leave it stock, maybe throw like a stage one tune on it, but oh. Yeah, that's like an entire, entire bag of chips sitting right there. Wow, and I am noticing also a uh, nice little spider web between the headrests. So there might be some, uh, might have some friends in here with me. So uh, very interesting to, uh, to say the least. The windows were also down, so uh, there might be some debris or something. I know there's a little bit of water in one of the tires. My goal is to pretty much fix it up, probably daily drive it over the summer because he did tell me it has good cold AC and that in uh, Phoenix, Arizona is spectacular news. That's all I that's all I needed to hear. I am noticing we got a wiring harness and a bunch of zip ties just hanging down right here too and some uh yeah, that, 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 that definitely needs some attention. So yeah, I think with that being said, that's all I've got for episode one of this Project 9.5. Please leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, make sure to check out my Patreon if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram if you want to see more up-to-date stuff on what's going on with this car. I'll put it on the screen right here, but I'll be posting a lot on my story and on my Patreon as to what's going on with this car. But this is just such a beautiful color. And you know, from here, it's your stereotypical 10-footer. It looks pretty, pretty solid from here, but uh, this car is just going to need so much love, and I'm excited to get working on it. This is going to be so much fun. So if you guys are happy for the new Saab, all the videos that are going to come with it on the channel, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of it, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.